Hey everyone, it's Allison. Welcome back to my channel. Obviously, I haven't done a video in a really long time. I am currently stuck in quarantine uh, again. COVID is so bad in New York right now, so that's where we got it. My roommate Kara also has COVID right now, so we're both quarantining here. Um, but for the first couple of days, like we were wearing masks and stuff around each other, waiting for my test results to come back. But then they just came back yesterday, so then now we can finally hang out. It is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas, and it's really sad because we can't go home to our families, but we're gonna make the best of it. This is my first video from um, my apartment. As you can see, I'm in a different spot. If you guys wanna see like New York City vlogs or like, you know, outfit video, not that I like ever wear cute outfits and go out, I usually wear sweatpants, but if you guys wanna see any sorts of videos like that, let me know. It's really fun to just play with my makeup. I haven't done it in so long, like I said. I've just been watching so many makeup videos and so many things on YouTube, like vlogs and all that kind of stuff, and it's really inspired me. All the products that I used in today's video, I will link down below. Pretty much the same stuff. I haven't really bought anything new recently. Okay, let's get on into the video. So, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. I'm going to be recreating... Let me get it. I got this off of Pinterest. It's got like a really pretty bluish green um in the crease i'm going to try to recreate that today so let's get started i'm gonna do the face first so obviously like i said this is a very glowy look so i'm gonna start with a primer um this is just the milani it's covered all my makeup is covered in glitter i don't know well i know why it's because i have that glitter spray but like everything is covered in glitter but i'm gonna start with the milani bright side um primer put that all over Step one done. Next, I'm going to do some of this illuminating like serum. This is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. And I'm just putting this on my cheeks and my nose area. So next is, ne <coughs> next, I have not used any sort of foundation or anything in like so long i don't ever really do my makeup um now because i'm just working from home um so don't really know what's good the ordinary serum foundation 2.0 it's probably too dark for me right now because i'm really pale um i don't know I, i'm not really i'm not great at color matching so Let's just go with it. So I'm just taking any brush. And the reason I'm wiping them off is because my room gets so dusty. And because I have my makeup brushes sitting out, they get like, you know, dust and all that stuff like on them. So I have to make sure to wipe them before I use them. Down here. And maybe on my forehead. I love Lightwear foundation. I personally don't look good with a full coverage foundation. And then I'm going to be using the concealer. Um, I like this one that comes like, you know, in the same line. This is just the ordinary concealer. But I think today I'm going to be using the Tarte one, Shape Tape. This is in the shade 16 Natural. I'm just going to be using this because it's more my skin color right now. And I love it. And a little really good long way. I have a pimple here. I'm just going to blend that in. Okay. That is a good base. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to put on a bunch of powder. This is the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Honey Beige. But I will just say beige because I'm vegan. Um, this gets everywhere. But it smells good, so I'm going to take a more dense brush just so that it kind of can really pack it onto my face, under my eyes, and then just throughout the rest of my face. And then I'm going to do my eyes, which I'm really excited about. So let's zoom in. So I used to use tape all the time on my eyes when I would do different looks. 
Recently I haven't been doing it because I've been getting better at doing a straight line. So we're going to try that out today. I am going to just take any, you know, brush. This one has pink all over it, so maybe not the best to use, but actually I have a million other ones here. I should use something else instead. And I'm going to use some of that same loose powder and just set my eyes. So I'm using the Nikki Tutorials palette. I forget what this is called. It's just the Nikki Tutorials pressed pigment palette with, um, I think, Beauty Bay. I haven't used this in so long. Taking just that same brush that I was using. There's a lot of different colors to choose from here. I'm going to be using this blue. The blue on the bottom over there and that green. Um, so lightly, I'm just going to take the blue and put this in my inner corner. I'm going to take a smaller, flatter brush and start with the, the blue. Yeah, the blue. I'm going to take an even thinner brush now and I'm going to get the green going. So this brush might have pink on it. Oh, it's purple on it. Nice. Now I'm going to take the green and put that on top with this thinner brush. And I'm not going to go lightly on this one because this is the main color. I'm going to add a little bit more color, but I'm going to add it from this other palette. This is the Khaki Calling Morphe palette. Um, obviously it's green, so you know it's going to have those deep greens in it. I'm taking this one right here. This is in the shade Really Busy, which I'm not. Okay, this is what I wanted. Talking to. Yeah, you can come in if you want. Hello. Oh, it's not. Good. It's more blue than I want it to be green. So. No, I think that looks good. Hello, friend. My roommate is so slow. Tell her to subscribe to my YouTube. Subscribe to her YouTube channel, she says. I'll sign you up. I always come to this conflict where they look different, but I can't decide which one looks better. Mm. Let's to add more. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking. Now comes the hard part. I'm going to apply the jewels. I got these for when I went to a music festival a couple of months ago. I went to Firefly in Delaware. Uh, I don't know why I said it like that. Basically what I'm going to do is take tweezers, take a little jewel, which I was going to throw these out the other day when I was cleaning and I didn't. So thankful for that. Take a little, just very small amount of eyelash glue. Go ahead and place that on your green line this is not easy but it's possible hmm Talked about that. Yeah, no. I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be back. I am back. <clears throat> While my camera was charging, I did the jewels, as you can see. I also did um, lashes. I just used these Ardell. Um, mini ones like the 
individual lashes to do my eyebrows and just real quick I just put a little bit of pencil in them and I did one more thing oh I did eyeliner NYX pencil this is just a black um, eyeliner pencil on my tight line up here and then on my waterline and I also blended in a little bit of this blue LA girl just like an eye pencil um, on the bottom as well so that is all finished I'm gonna let my eyelashes just stick on a little bit more because they were kind of hard to get on and I don't want to mess with them right now so I'm gonna add the shimmer and then finish my face and yeah this is i like how it's, this is turning out so i'm sorry nikki tutorials but your palette just wasn't doing it for me as far as this look so i'm gonna finish off with the um palette i was using before i'm gonna use this like um green blue glittery sparkly beautiful color um and i'm going to make sure that this gets packed on so i'm just taking a oh there goes some dust just like a flat you know and I'm actually going to spray this with a little bit of setting spray so that it really adds color. And then I'm going to take this Vive highlighter. This is just um, Bijou, I think is how you say it. Bijou, maybe. I'm going to put this on my highlight. A little bit on my lid and then after I'm finished the rest of my face I'm going to also use this as highlight I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer but focus it really like just right up in this area and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and then I just put a little bit on my nose and then for blush, it looks like she has a really nice flush of color. So I'm going to try this. This is the Rare Beauty um, blush, it, like cream blush in the shade Happy. Like, seriously, a little bit goes a long way for this. Like, it's actually scary how much pigment is in like one drop. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger. And I'm going to focus it right on this area. And then on top of that, I'm gonna just do the blush that I trust, which is the Maybelline Fit Me one. This is in the shade Mauve. I like this because it has shimmer in it, so it works as a highlighter as well. Right up on my cheeks, on my forehead. I've been seeing that as a trend on YouTube, people doing blush on their, above their eyebrow. I'm just going to top that off with some highlighter. I'm using the same one, the um, Vive one. Too Faced, better than sex. On top, I'm going to do the Buxom Pink Champagne. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, the thing I just am not used to having like a full face of makeup on. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Um, and I will try to do more videos in the future. Let me know what you guys want to see. I hope everyone has a happy holiday. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.